Welcome back to our higher mathematics topic on straight lines. In today's video we are going to be continuing our conversation about gradients. In particular we're going to be talking about gradients of perpendicular lines. So what does perpendicular actually mean? What does it mean if we have perpendicular lines? Well you might have heard of it before and what perpendicular means is it means two lines, for example this line here and this line directly at the bottom of it here, these lines are perpendicular because they meet at a right angle. So any two lines that will meet at a right angle or be at a right angle to each other are called perpendicular. So we say that this line here is perpendicular to this line here. Similarly, we could say that this line here is perpendicular to this line here because we would say that the right angle, which is up here, they meet at right angles. We can say the same for here. They meet at a right angle, so these two lines are perpendicular. So we're just going to simply say that two lines that are at right angles to each other are said to be perpendicular. Now we can use this little definition here of perpendicular lines to come up with a formula or a fact about the gradients of perpendicular lines. So let's say if perpendicular lines have gradients. Now we'll call the gradient of the first line M and the gradient of the second line we're going to call M with this little subscript that looks like this. It's like an upside down T. Now that kind of looks like those perpendicular lines we drew before. So what this M sub T means is it means the gradient of the perpendicular line. So if this is our gradient of our first line, this line here is the gradient of any perpendicular line to this line or just the gradient of the perpendicular line to this line. So we say then, we're going to do a little formula here. So we say that the first gradient, m, times the second gradient, so the gradient of the perpendicular line, and this is simply equal to negative 1. So using this we could also say that um, lines are perpendicular if m times the gradient of the perpendicular line is equal to negative 1. So using this formula we can test to see if lines are perpendicular by multiplying both their gradients and seeing if we get negative 1. Or we could also work out the gradient of a perpendicular line by rearranging this formula to say that the perpendicular line is equal to minus 1 divided by the perpendicular line's gradient. Now one quick fact we can use, another rule we can say, is that if we know the gradient of one of the lines, say m, then we could work out the gradient of the other line by inverting the gradient, so flipping the fraction and changing the sign. So for example, if gradient m is 2 thirds, we can say that the perpendicular line, well, we know we just do minus 1 divided by this fraction, but a quick way is if we have a fraction, we flip the fact fraction and change the sign. So if we flip the fraction, and change the sign, we'll get minus 3 over 2 because we've changed the sign and we flipped it so the 3 is on top and 2 is on the bottom. And the same will work, say the gradient is 4. We can say that the perpendicular gradient, well, 4 is simply equal to 4 over 1. So we could say that the perpendicular gradient, we flip the fraction and we change the sign. If this was negative 4, this would just be positive a quarter. So it works the same for changing the signs and for all gradients we can just flip the fraction and change the sign. 
So let's do an example. We're told given that t is the point 1 minus 2 and s is the point minus 4, 5, find the gradient of a perpendicular line to st. So we know that st is going to form a line between these two points. Well, what do we know about the line st? Well, we know we can work out the gradient of this line by using our formula from that 5. So we're going to say that m, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little subscript st to not confuse our gradients because m st simply means the gradient of the line st. So we say that this is going to be equal to, and we'll put our formula, y2 take y1 over x2 take x1. Substitute in our values. The second y coordinate is 5, first y coordinate is minus 2, so it's minus, minus 2, divided by minus 4, minus 1. And this is going to give us 7 over my minus 5. So our gradient is simply going to be negative 7 over 5 of the line st. Now using our formula we can say that therefore the gradient of a perpendicular line to st is going to be, and using our fraction uh, rule that we said, we just flip the fraction and change the signs. So if we flip the fraction we get negative 5 over 7, change the sign we get positive 5 over 7. So our perpendicular gradient is going to be 5 over 7 and it's not okay just to leave it like this. You also want to state why you know this and you say this is since m of st, the gradient of st times the gradient of a perpendicular line is equal to minus 1. So always when you're talking about gradients of perpendicular lines, always state why you know this is the perpendicular line's gradient because both of them multiplied together should give you minus 1 and you can give this a little test. You can see negative 7 over 5 times 5 over 7 is going to give you minus 35 over 35 which is equal to minus 1. So we can test this to see that this does hold for these two gradients. So in this next example we are told that triangle MOP has vertices M minus 3, 9, O, 0, 0, and P, 12, 4. And we are asked to show that the triangle is right angled. Well, if we take a look at our triangle here, we can see I've done a quick sketch before. We've not got the diagram in the question, so I've done a quick sketch to see what the triangle is going to look like. Now, the reason I've done this sketch is I can kind of see which two lines are probably going to be perpendicular. Now, what did we say about perpendicular lines? Well, we said they meet at a right angle. So if two lines are perpendicular and meet at a right angle, we can say that this triangle is right angled if two sides of the triangle meet at a right angle. So in this case, we can see it's probably going to be the lines OM and OP. It's not going to be PM and PO because that does certainly not look like a right angle whereas this one here does. So we can use the gradient of these two lines OM and OP to see if we multiply them do we get negative 1. Well let's test this. Let's start by looking at the gradient of OM first. So we know that the gradient is going to be Y2 take Y1 over X2 take x1, which in our case, um, the y2 coordinate is going to be 9. The y1 coordinate is going to be 0, so it's going to be 9 subtract 0. And the x2 coordinate is minus 3, x1 is minus 0. And this is simply going to give us 9 over minus 3, which is just minus 3. So we know that the gradient of the perpendicular line will be the flip to the inverse of this fraction and the opposite um, sign in front. So we know it's going to be positive a third. So we know if we test the gradient of OP, if we find this to be positive a third, then we know we've done it right and we know these two lines are perpendicular. So let's see, we're going to have the um, same formula, y2 take y1 over x2 take x1 
And in this case, our y coordinate is four, subtract zero. It's quite lucky that it's zero, it's easy to use. Because then we're gonna have four over 12, which when we simplify, we find divide both by four, we're going to get one over three. Now, this is not enough to get the marks. We're going to have to state, we're asked to show that it's right angled. And we can say, since M OM, the gradient of the line OM is, is um, multiplied by the gradient of OP equals minus one. Then we say that OM is perpendicular to OP. And then we can say, thus, the triangle, sometimes people will actually draw a triangle symbol here, MOP is right angled. Now, how did we deduce this again? Well, we said because the triangle has two lines that meet at a right angle, there must be a right angle within the triangle and a right angle triangle has a right angle. So therefore we used our fact about gradients of perpendicular lines to show that the triangle is right angled.